Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. If you are thinking about oceanfront property, either here in Hilton Head or 30A, and especially if you're around the Atlanta area, this is definitely gonna be a great video for you. We're gonna kind of compare and contrast uh, here in Hilton Head versus 30A. Uh, 30A recently over the last you know three or four years, especially since the pandemic hit, has gone absolutely berserk um, with property values. Hilton Head has also seen an upward trend, but nothing like uh, 30A. So just want to show you some oceanfront property here real quick on Hilton Head and kind of give you the, um, you know, offshore side, if you will, uh, real quick on what these properties look like from the streets. So let's get into it right now. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, if this is your first video, welcome. Uh, we uh, love to show you everything about Hilton Head Island here on these videos and uh, and on this channel. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, make sure that you tap the bell notifications so that you don't miss a single video about what it's like to live, work, and play here on Hilton Head. So as I said, we want to show you all the oceanfront property here. Uh, this one, look at that, what a beauty. A lot of these um, homes, you know, have obviously been rebuilt over the last couple of years, uh, you know, 15 to 20 years, some of them, um, but just big, beautiful homes here. Um, these are all oceanfront, so we're, we're just showing you the street side for now, um, but I'm gonna show you a number of the streets here. This is actually in Palmetto Dunes. Um, as you make the turn here, kind of turning back towards the mainland, you've got this second row home, and then, you've got these third row homes here as well. This one's actually just been finished here in the last year or so, but just big, beautiful home here. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like from Mooring Bowie, the main street that runs through here. And as I said, I just really wanted to kind of compare and contrast the values over in um, 30A have just been going berserk. And here in Hilton Head, we have seen about a 20 to 25% increase in values. So it's still a really solid investment, but comparatively speaking, your dollar goes a lot further here in Hilton Head than it does in 30A. So again, you've got, you know, third row home here, and then second row home here, and then everything in front of us here will be um, ocean front. So obviously when it comes to oceanfront property, there's a number of different things that you can do here in terms of size and in terms of investment. Um, you know, anywhere from really kind of starting off at like the three to $4 million range is about where you're gonna begin with a lot of these homes, obviously quickly accelerating to the five to $10 million range. But comparatively speaking, when you look over at say 30A, it's really hard and getting more difficult to find property and even just lots over there for two, three, four million dollars. So to me, that's the greatest advantage is, you know, honestly just entry point. Um, you know, for what you can get in a lot over in 30A, you can get a whole house here. And in addition, the second point I wanna make is from a, an income standpoint, you know, if you're thinking about this as an investment, um, you know, whether you're gonna spend part-time or you're full-time here, you know, the, the, the upward mobility of properties here in Hilton Head is gonna significantly outpace what I believe 30A will. And uh, and so in addition, if you're looking at it as an investment from the you know income standpoint, you know, what will these homes produce? A lot of these homes you can get 300, 350, 400, 500 thousand dollars a year, um, you know, 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars a week in some cases uh, to rent these properties out. Um, obviously during the high season, and if you've been here for a while, you've heard me talk about Memorial Day to Labor Day being the high season. Certainly there's still opportunity to rent off season um, and a lot of snowbirds still will come down here in January, February, March, October, November, December and spend, you know, a month at a time, two months, three months at a time. So from an investment standpoint, you know, being able to cash flow 10, 15, $20,000 a, a week, uh, you know, 50, 60, $70,000 a month is a huge advantage. And I know that in 30A, there's still that opportunity um, but you're still talking about the same price points, um, you know, for actual rental or investment income. Here's another street. Again, the ocean just on the other side of the house there. 
but some really beautiful homes over here. I just wanted to show you guys here real quick. Look at that, beautiful. The one other thing you want to consider about the investment side of things, Hilton Head versus 30A, is that you know Hilton Head has a lot of restrictions when it comes to rentals, when it comes to the size of the buildings. Um, you know, just real estate in general has a ton of restrictions in Hilton Head. So you know, the the upward mobility that we talked about earlier <clears throat> would definitely not allow you to do a lot of things that 30A. Um, what allow you to do and so you know from a condo perspective specifically that's just the first place my mind jumps um, you know you got a really good opportunity in 30a where you don't have that in Hilton Head. so there's pros and cons to everything but certainly one of the other things I want to talk about though um, just to kind of give you a little bit better frame of reference in 30a because you know we, we talk about risk and reward a lot in real estate so while the risk may be higher uh, in 30A, the reward could potentially also be higher. And so, you know, because Hilton Head is such a small island and, you know, there's <laughs> there's only 12, 12 miles by five miles to really live on, um, and 30A is, you know, whatever, 30, 40 miles long, uh, you've got a lot more opportunity there. And again, risk reward. So, you know, if you're super risk adverse, Hilton Head may be a better option. If you have, uh, you know, some some risk to play with, so to speak, uh, 30A may be the best option, but regardless what you choose, I would love to hear from you. What do you like more, 30A or have you been to 30A or have you been to Hilton Head? Which one did you prefer and why? I, I'm starting to get a lot more comments here. And in fact, the next video that we're gonna do is gonna be all about some of the questions and comments that we've gotten as a result of the videos here. Um, Cause you guys bring up a lot of really good points and really good questions. So I wanna make sure that we're hitting every mark possible with those uh, videos as well. But if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe bu <laughs> subscribe button and uh, so that you don't miss a single video here uh, on living in Hilton Head Island. I really appreciate you guys taking the time today. Hope this was helpful and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.